we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this new day. Thank you for the life that for each and every one of us and for our loved ones as well. That we may celebrate today your love as well, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. Be with us, O Lord. Continue to journey with us, with your divine presence, that in our sharing, in our reflection, in our hearing your word, be able to understand and have the wisdom coming from you and from the Holy Spirit, that we may live it to the full, like the example of St. Therese, who even she did not go out of the convent, she became the patroness of the missionaries. Thank you, Lord, for the many blessings you have given us, above all, for the safe and good night rest. As we entrust to you, members of our families who are not here with us, especially those who are sick, those who are in need of healing, and those who have problems and difficulties, be with them, O Lord, so that they may continue to live their lives to the full. But for the moment, stay with us, O Lord, as you have always stayed with us, as you have promised, where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in their midst. Be with us, O Lord, because we are ready to listen to your word. Amen. 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 The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, you. to you, O Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, you will be so will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to, you, to, you, to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. To you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and good evening. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. We saw Jesus sending the apostles two by two, the disciples, with all the instructions and with the evangelizing perspective of what he wanted. But today we see a different Jesus, quite angry, in a different mood, perhaps frustrated even, because these places that he mentioned are really places or localities where he had performed signs where he had done healing, where he had expelled demons, and even had worked miracles. Chorazin is in the north, which side is in the south. And of course, Capernaum is his place, the place of Peter as well. And you realize that this place should have accepted him. This place should have already wandered into life of conversion and being with Jesus. But seemingly they have preferred darkness. Seemingly, they wanted to stay in darkness, even if they have heard the word of God and they would not just accept Jesus as well as his proclamation and the light that he was giving to them. So much so that Jesus would say, if these things had done in Tyre and Sidon, you realize that it is upper north still, and this is already a Greek area, not anymore of Palestine. So much so that for Jesus, when these things had been proclaimed to them, it could have cost them so much room for conversion, so much room for brotherhood or a relationship with the Lord, but not with Chorazin, not with Bethsaida, and not with Capernaum. Seemingly, they have rejected the light that was given to them, the good news that was proclaimed to them, and those healings are simply nothing to them. And so Jesus is so strong today, so much so that we said, what do you? Usually we translate that one as manigaska o kawawa. That in the end, truly, our life is a pitiable life when we do not accept Jesus. 
The same address could be done to us. What to you, Father Danny? What to you, Tito Elmer? What to each one of us? Or what to you, United States? What to you, Philippines? What to you, Iloilo? Because the Lord has shown us so much of his love. But when we refuse to accept that same love, then for Jesus, that was nothing. And so therefore, he would as well scold us. The same thing continues today because the Lord still works many miracles. He would still share the light to us, but in so many ways that people would like to stay in darkness. Our turn, therefore, like the disciples, to continue the message. But the last part of the gospel, Jesus said, if they listen to you, they will listen to me. If they accept you, they will accept me. So our perspective is, we go wherever we are, bringing the message of Christ, the proclamation that we say, bringing the message of salvation as the instruments of the Lord. And hopefully, wherever we are, they might as well accept the very good news of God. But we start with ourselves to a life of conversion, not of rejection of the message of the Lord. I'm happy that this prayer group, the Global Warrior, would take time, make sacrifices really in order to listen to the word of God, in order to be with Jesus, in order to be with him. After all, this is what Jesus' proclamation is. He came to be our savior. He came to be our redeemer. Let us try to remove any kind of Chorazin, any kind of Bethesda, any kind of Capernaum. And those are symbols of rejection, symbols of taking for granted the message of the Lord, and that we may live only in the light and light of Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, O Lord. Thank, Thank you, o Lord. you, Lord. Thank you, O Lord. O Lord. For amidst the many blessings, for amidst, For amidst the many, the many blessings. blessings, and at times we have forgotten you, and at, and at times, times we have, we have forgotten, forgotten, you. forgotten you, to live a life of conversion, to live, live a life, a life of conversion. conversion. You scold us as well. You scold, you scold us, us as well. And your scolding is your love for us. And your scolding is your love for us. That we will not become a Chorazin, a Chorazin, a Bethesda, a Bethesda, a Capernaum, places and people. Places and people who wanted to remain in darkness. Who wanted to remain in darkness. In front of the light. In front of the light. Who wanted to live in their own. Who wanted to live in their own. In the midst of the good news proclaimed. In the midst of the good news proclaimed. For running away from you, O Lord. For running away from you, Lord. In spite of being there with them. In spite, in spite of being here with them. Help us, O Lord. Help us, Help us O Lord. And strengthen us. And, and strengthen, strengthen us. us. That whatever happens in life. That whatever, that whatever happens, happens in life. We will remain with you. We will, we will remain with you. Because you are our life. Because, because you, you are our, our life. life. You are our light. You are, you are our, our, our light. light and our everything. And, and our, our everything. everything. Like Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Like Saint, Saint, Therese, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Jesus. We may be bring heaven here on earth. We may, we may be bring heaven, heaven here on earth. And pray as well for the many people all over the world. And pray, and pray as well pray to many people many all people over the world. And become missionaries to them. And become, and become missionaries, missionaries to them. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, of God pray for us for sinners, our sinners now, now and at the, the hour of our, of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael the Defender, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Raphael the Healer, pray, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Gabriel, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. We pray our prayers, our guardian angel, angel of God, angel of God, my guardian, guardian dear, 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 whom God's love, love meets me love here, meets me here every, every day, every day, be at my side, at my side to, to light and guide, guard, guide, rule, rule and guide. guide. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray, pray for us. us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray, pray for us. us. San Agustin. Pray, pray, pray for, for us. St. Anthony of Padua. Pray, pray for us. St. Hannibal. Pray, pray, pray for, for us. Send, O Lord. Send, O Lord, into your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the and, the Father Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening and good morning. Good evening, Father. Thank you very much, Thank Father. You. Good evening. Welcome, Tita. Welcome, po. Today also is October 1, so the start of the Rosary in honor of our Blessed Mother. Yeah. First yes. Friday. And first, first Friday. Friday yes. pa? No. First Friday of the month, yes. Wow, and that means. St. Therese. St. Therese, my child, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Salapit na piyesta sa ano. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sa ating parokya. The second Sunday in usually. No? Oh. Second, second Sunday yung ating fiesta. Eh. October 10, uh -huh. October 11. Parang generally ganun, second Sunday po dito. Yes, 3, 10. So it would be 10. Ah, very good, very good. May group naman na nagpe-pray ng rosary, no? O kayo pa rin yun? Oo. There's another group. Yeah, the same the group, yeah. Father. Ah, that's very uh -oh. good. The same group. Uh -oh. We have yeah. another group that prays. Say, uh -oh. that's, <laughs> ah, that's very good. Uh -oh. Para, Aside so from the warriors, the uh, soldier. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. oh, it's a soldier uh -oh. then. Mm -hmm. Uh, very so, nice. Ang dami na, ang dami ng grupo, Father, na nag-pray ng rosary. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Very Maybe. nice. Uh -huh. Ah, naman. Uh, and the chaplet uh -huh. as well. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. Any kind of chaplet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Continue the so, devotion. Sa. It's so nice. Wow. Uh -huh. Pero wala pa nag-pray ng rosary sto, sa Bisaya, sa Cebuano. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> nasanay na sa English dito, nasanay na sa English. Sa English sila lahat. <laughs> oh, hindi lang ako nakamakamemorize ng ano inang prayers na Ilonggo. amay namon. Oo, hindi, I, I, I already forgot. No. <laughs> Maghimaya ka Maria, yun ang, ang, ano, ang Ilonggo version. Yes, nasanay na tita sa English. Eh. <laughs> nasanay na. <laughs> Ayan, so ano na. So take care, have so, a nice evening. Thank, have you, thank you very much, Father. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for everything. Bye -bye po. Love you more, Father. Be safe, Father. Gospel tonight or today, it's uh, very forceful. Huh? Woe to you. It speaks about for us repentance. Woe to you. As Father Danny said, woe to the people of, in the countries, in the cities where there are abortion clinics, Planned Parenthood, and legalized same-sex marriages, woe to these countries. They will suffer. Nakakaawa. Nakakatakot. Yeah, nakakatakot. And this is a call, and this is a call for uh, repentance, really. 
it's not only during Ash Wednesday or Advent where we are called to repentance, but every day. And he will give us the grace to be able to really repent. It's people that we have sinned against. True repentance is uh, by extending your hand of reconciliation. Those people you have hurt or even those who have hurt you. Sometimes you have to take the initiative. Do this, but you need uh, great humility and uh, strength, courage. Just like when you go to a confessional, take humility, kneel down and accept your wrongdoings, your sins. In reflecting on this gospel, God is calling us to publicly manifest your sitting in sackcloth and ashes as a sign of your sorrow toward those against whom you have sinned. For example, if your sin is that of anger and you have regularly harmed another by that sin, then you, on, you, don't, you then don't only repent to God. Look also for external ways to manifest your sorrow to them. Perhaps do some form of manifest service for them or engage in a public act of penance, such as fast, fast, fasting and showing them you are sorry. But also to manifest charitable good works, service maybe, prayer, public penance and the like. All are ways that you can spiritually practically sit in sackcloth and ashes. Sackcloth before in the uh, Old Testament is very itchy. If you wear it, it's very itchy. You will really suffer. Those sacks used in the in the uh, copras, that's the supper, jute bugs. Nowadays, the bugs in uh, containing the rice is made of PVC, I think. Before, it's made, made of jute. And it's very itchy. And you will really suffer. Ashes, well, in, every Ash Wednesday to remind us that life is short. We came from dust. And those are uh, ways of uh, showing sorrow, repentance. There are many ways to do this. The essential quality present in such an act will be that it is clear to others that you are sorry for your sin and that you are attempting to change. If the sin you have committed toward another is grave, then your interior repentance was much the seriousness of your sin. And the exterior manifestation of that repentance must also measure up. Well, you have to approach the person that have hurt you or you have hurt. Not just, not just say that you forgive. You have to approach it. You have to extend your hand of reconciliation. Or you will, you will leave to regret it all and to your grave. Because true repentance is made manifest only when you really 
and truly uh, forgive that person. May actually approaching him and extending your hand of reconciliation. There's no other way. Because I myself have experienced that. It took me five years to really give. not easy. It will take time. But God will help you. You have to pray. And he will give you the grace to be able to really forgive from the heart. From the heart. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Kito Mani. Thank you very much. Um, do you have something to say, Tita Bell? No, pass <coughs> one and uh, um, Tito Elmer. Okay. We start with a prayer. Dear Lord, we want to take this time to open our mind and heart to whatever it is you want to say to us today. We believe in your love for us today. We believe in your love for us, even though we don't feel always feel, we don't always feel it. I hope in the power in the power of grace to continue purifying and strengthening us in our journey towards life. We thank you for all the gifts all the good gifts you have given us throughout our life, and especially in the last 24 hours. Lord, lead me in the path of your commands, of your commandments, for that is my delight. Today in the gospel, even if the opening passage is a little bit, Jesus was a little bit angry, yet Jesus cares. Jesus shows us so much emotion in this gospel passage. He chastises the Jewish town because their citizens were insensitive to God's invitation. Somehow their hearts had been hardened and God's loving voice couldn't penetrate. And this mattered to Jesus. His heart is not indifferent to the indifference of the people he loves. He wants to fill with his grace. We encounter this passionate heart of the Lord, the sacred heart of Jesus throughout the Holy Scriptures. God is continuously, constantly intervening in the life of his people, constantly calling them to trust him as evident. For example, in today's first reading, he simply will not give up. He continues to speak out 
to call, to invite. He cares. We matter with him deeply. Let that sink in. Again, let that sink in to all of us. Jesus cares. We matter to him deeply. Yes, he cares deeply about us. If I believe that more fully, what difference would it make in our life? But human beings are free. Jesus would not chastise the people of Churasin, Bethsaida, Kered, if they were incapable of choosing the response to witnessing his mighty deed. Even though our nature has been wounded by original sin, we are still free. We are response able. We are response able human beings. We can choose to turn our attention to God or not. We can choose to follow God's call when we hear it in the Gospels, in our conscience, in the teaching of the church or not. We can choose to accept God's invitation of mercy as often as he makes it and makes it un unceasingly or not. True, our freedom is not absolute. It is conditioned by many factors, but it is still present. And what we do with it, how we respond to the challenges, opportunities, and invitation that God sends us or permits determines the kind of person we will be. In this sense, Christians are the ultimate existentialists. Our existence is a gift and what we choose to do with that gift day after day determines whether our lives will end up being meaningful or meaningless. God invites us to be his partner in building up a kingdom of infinite value but he refuses to force us. Yes, how many times he invited us to go and spread the gospel. We refuse. Oh, we said, that place so far, I don't have friends in that place. I don't want to spread the gospel in that place. I don't know how to spread the gospel. Jesus speaks through messengers. Mama. We are supposed to be the messenger, the prayer warriors of the Rugati. As Jesus sent out the 72 disciples, he promised that whoever listened to you listens to me. Whoever reject you, rejects me. My dear prayer warriors, is that not enough assurance from the Lord to give you courage to spread the gospel? Again, let me say that Jesus promised that whoever listened to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. 
God speaks through his followers. God speaks through the prayer warriors of the Rugati. This means that we are not only disciples, but we are also God's messenger. With our example, our deed and words, Jesus is continuing to spread his gospel in the world. He speaks to us. This is the core identity as a Christian, as a prayer warrior, disciples who are missionaries, followers of Christ, who are also his messengers. Maybe this is the first time you heard that being your followers of Christ, you have been sent as a, as a messenger. And it was very clear from St. John Paul II when he quoted the gospel. Just as the Father has sent me, so I send you. But this also means that he continues <clears throat> to speak to us through our brothers and sisters. Maybe Christ speaks through Tita Bell, through Tita Pippin, in their words, in their examples, and in their deeds. Today, St. Therese or the Child of Jesus is a powerful example filled with the grace that comes into the heart fully given over to Christ's love. This young saint in this in her autobiography, The Soul, she died at the age of 24. Wrote or written under the Carmelite vow of obedience has become a spiritual lighthouse amid the darkness of a secularized world. Then hence her teachings in his autobiography made her or has been made her declare the Holy Catholic Church in 1997 through St. John Paul II declared her as the 33rd doctor or teacher of the church. It was in recognition of this truth that by the Holy Spirit, God continues to speak in our neither needy world. Through Christ, faithful followers, if we want to hear his voice, all we need to do is listen. Once again, St. Therese was never an authority of the church. He never came out, he was never gave, she was never given the responsibility and she died very young. And yet through her little ways, she was able to be the, the patron saint of the missionaries. Let us pray, dear Lord, why do you care so much about us? Why? We are so slow, so deaf, so lazy, 
so easily distracted. And yet you never give up on us. You never give up on me. You continue to send me messages. Yes, Lord, I wanted to sleep. At the middle of the night, you send me messages that I had to wake up and join people in prayer in, and spread your good words. In so many ways, reminding me of your love and your truth. But not only that, you actually sent me as your messenger. You entrusted your love and your truth to me to, and to all of us now and ask us to share it with those around us. Lord, don't you know how weak I am, how weak we are, how foolish, how fearful. I know you do. But somehow, this is the path along which our friendship grows, trying to listen for your, to your voice and trying to be faithful, <clears throat> echo of that voice. Please, Lord, make me a good listener. Make us a good listener. And also make us a good messenger, a good prayer warrior, and a missionary to the world, spreading your good news. Lord, today, by your grace, we will listen to your, for your voice in a special way and pay attention to the mighty deeds that you have done in the holiness of Saint Therese of Lisieux, who teaches all of us to find and enjoy your loving presence in little things of everyday life. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Amen. I trust Thank you. in you. Thank you, Tito Alma. The three pointers of Tita Lynn is not Luke, but Matthew. But I will just read Friday, October 1. Are you surprised that people in Jesus' time were already talking about who is the greatest? Today, the claimer to be recognized as somebody has become a common obstacle to grow in our faith in God. Number two, Jesus enlightened us that to be the greatest in God's kingdom, we must be humble. We need to empty ourselves of our pride and self-seeking glory like an innocent child or lowly servant. Number three, if we desire to live with God for all eternity after we die, then we are called to live in Christ's life grace while we are on earth. Is it not wise for us to live our daily lives now according to Jesus' calling? The three pointings. Amen. 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 May we have the closing prayer, Tita Ann? Okay. Lord God, you knew that this life would be difficult for us. If we are to follow you, we must pick up our cross and carry it. Nobody is a friend to the person carrying a cross. It will often be a lonely road. There will be numerous tribulations and difficult times. Though we do not know the whole story, we know that it ends with your victory. May you help us always to rejoice in this and to take comfort in knowing that you have the final word. Amen. 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 Good night and good morning, everybody. Good night. See you in good our morning. different threads. Long.
Gypsy. I may wonder where I please. Yet I keep on longing. Sana na dito, Stoney. Just to rest a while. Whereas with hearts, tender eyes, take the place of sun and skies. All the world forgotten in one woman's smile. Smile, Tita Pipin. One alone to be my own. I alone to know her caresses. <laughs> to be eternally the one I worship in soul. Possesses at her call, I keep my own, all my love and all my love enduring. This would be a magic world to me if you were mine alone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tito. Thank you, Tito. Tito. Uh, see. <laughs>